Game Night! Sherwood Forest, the Sheriff of Nottingham, Feathered Caps, Archery. Perhaps you've heard of some of these things. Perhaps you've read stories about them. Perhaps you'd like to join Lincoln, Aaron, Mike, and Nikki in The Adventures of Robin Hood, a game for two to four players, designed by Mikhail Menzel and published by Cosmos. It's a storytelling campaign game where the state of the board will change based on the choices you make. We're going to take you through the introductory adventure and show you how it works. Join us, won't you? Hey, Aaron. Hey, Lincoln. Will you teach us the adventures of Robin Hood? Yes! And no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you might recognize this designer's name from his first and only other design, Legends of Andor, which we played way back towards the beginning of the game night show. Absolutely. Um, similar to that design, this game will largely teach us itself. So I'm going to tell you pretty much everything I know about it in about five minutes. All right. Um, for some of our viewers, hi to my friend Jamie up north, who like to skip over the first half an hour of game explanation, don't do that. We're going to be playing <laughs> the game and right into it in about five minutes. So, uh, The Adventures of Robin Hood, and um, this game, it's June 2021 as we play right now and explain to you what we've got. We're playing a German version with as much English... Um, components as we have right now. This should be out in about September 2021, but we are playing with, uh, you know, a beautiful German book here that we have an English translation of the first few pages. Yeah. yeah. We have uh, an introductory booklet and uh, an action booklet, which we also have English translations of. So once you have this beautiful game in your hands and you have an English uh, version, it won't look exactly like this, but the board will look much the same. And the book, which you're gonna read most of your game instructions and adventures from, will look a lot like this. Pretty awesome. It's a pretty book. Yeah. It is. It's really nice. We are playing it is the game, basically. It, this yeah. basically is the game. Yeah. Um, and this is uh, not quite a legacy game because you're not going to rip up cards and write on the board and change things forever, but it is sort of a storytelling campaign game where you will play through certain adventures and stories and change things of the state of the game as you go on. Uh, you can even fail an adventure and try again. Uh, things will flip over on the board. You'll see all these little sort of advent calendar type little cardboard cool. pieces that will flip over and reveal things and change the state of the game as we go on. Um, we have lots of pieces that we don't even know what they do yet and they'll be explained by the book as we go through. I think you can reset the game. I believe you can uh, put all the tokens yeah, back in. Absolutely, can start over. Because oh, I, cool. I think and, uh, it's branching, so you can take the, you can play it again and actually have something different. Happen. That's a cool idea. I like that. We're told that the campaign should take around ten hours, but you can play wow. it, and it could be should be different every time. Right. So we are, of course. Robin Hood and some of some or more of his merry men or women. Hey lady, yeah, come on, I'm um, Maid Marian. Mike here. the Green Player is Robin Hood. Lincoln is portraying Maid Marian. I am Mike Little John, Chester. which is a, uh, of course, a uh, ironic name. He's the big strapping guy. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Nikki is Will Scarlet. I'm very upset that that is a turquoise figure and not a red figure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they reserved, they reserved red for some other game effects and timer and tokens and everything. Okay. And um, we don't know what they, those do yet. We have some circle tokens that we don't know what they do yet. We have some cubes that we don't know what they do yet. We've arrow. got some purple enemy figures. The game will tell us about that. We've got arrows and gray raven. Oh, wow. okay. Cool. All of this will be explained to us in the book. Here's the only thing that we know ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And that's how to take a move action. Robin Hood, this, this is an open board where you can see all the beautiful artwork. Michael Menzel, the designer, did all this artwork himself. Mm -hmm. um, if you are here on the board mm -hmm. and you're going to take a move action, you have two moving figures and one long move figure. You can move anywhere on the board. You cannot move through a solid object like a house or a castle wall or a rock or even a tree, unfortunately. Sherwood Forest yeah. is your home, but you can't, <sighs> can't go punch through, the through a tree. Okay. <laughs> um, some place. of these uh, tokens, as we said, will change the scenery and like layout of the game board, but okay. you move through the open spaces more or less. And, uh, and at certain points, you're going to be trying to get to certain things on the board. So you start your figure somewhere, and you just connect your moving figures to see how far you can get to. Oh, you wow. can you can curve them however you like. You can go, you know, you, cool. You can uh, you can connect them at an angle. 
and then you take your final figure, you can put him at a little bit of a diagonal if you just need to reach, you know, for instance, if you're trying to reach this tile and you need to diagonally yeah. angle it a as little bit. As long as you're touching as it. As long as you're touching it is fine. Cool. You have a little bit of freedom there. Mm -hmm. If you don't use this longest piece, your your length, your your running figure, mm -hmm. if you don't use that, you get to put a white cube in the draw bag. Ooh. That is called uh, conserving your strength. Mm. We don't know exactly why, but that is good for us, the players. <laughs> okay. This is a co-op game. We're all together against the right. bad guys, obviously. Right. Uh, so that is good if you don't use your longest running figure, moving figure. Makes sense. Otherwise, you are free to uh, do that in your role. Start and end with your standing right. figure. Right, so that's... That is explained, yes, perfect. here. Yep. Uh, white figure in the bag if you don't use the longest one. Everything else is... Uh, Explain. These are the three items that are available in this starting scenario. We don't even know what they do yet. Okay. And that. So this would be a rope. This is a rope a and a sword, sword and a horn. horn. Okay. One horn. One horn. That one Einhorn. horn times one. Okay. Einhorn. 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 <laughs> Finkel. Einhorn. That is everything in the Welcome to Sherwood Forest two-page ex explanation. Thank and you. now we will begin the game <laughs> by coming. turning to page eight <laughs> in the book, which is really just the first printed page. <laughs> and, to the sad. and for this book, we'll be using these printed pieces of paper. <laughs> the Adventures of Robin Hood begin. Chapter one, The Escape. England in the year of our Lord, 1193. The guard shoved little John forward. The chain he had been tied up with rubbed against his wrists. Through his hood, he recognized the silhouette of the approaching gallows. Dun, dun, dun. Now, flip over the oval tile on the game board with the number one on it in the castle yeah, courtyard. It's the toilet seat lid, I think. This is the guard. Okay. <laughs> you better you nails than I do. There. Now, lay one of little John's standing figures on this guard. His heart was racing and his mind started to wander. Is this the end? Is this the just punishment for all my deeds? Or is there still a way to escape? Oh, we do lay it. Yeah, yes. it said lay. Oh yeah, it shows it on there. Now, flip over the beggar tile number 110 before the castle wall. It's this guy outside here, to the left of the gate. And the straw <laughs> wagon tile number 214. Oh, yeah. uh, nope, nope. Before the castle, in front of the castle. Ah, there you go. So they are not visible. They are hiding. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Flip well, the beggar, over. The beggar is one of us. Probably. Flip over the wagon wheel tile, number 180, top left of the forest. Uh, Here. Okay. And the merchant tile, 120, bottom left of the forest. Here. So they are not visible. Done. Robin Hood yes. places one of his standing figures on the oval tile 11, top left of the forest. 11. Uh, There's 12. There's 12. 11. I'm here. Da -da. Maid Marion, if she is in the game, places one of her standing figures on the oval tile 9, bottom left of the forest. 9. Mm -hmm. This is a German copy. Will Scarlet, Will Turquoise, if he is in the game, places one of his standing figures on the rectangular tile 75, left in the shade of the forest. 75. Each player taking part now throws the wooden disc of their color into the bag. Okay. Oh. Yep. Does, does that count Little John who's laying he is, down? He's, he's in mean, the game. Is, yes. but yeah, by, yeah. by the way, if you play only two players, you must use Robin Hood and Little John. They are the main characters in uh, the starting scenario, okay. Okay. if not all scenarios. And throw the red disc in the bag. Okay. Now, this will not apply to us yet. You'll see why. Place the book's gold ribbon here between pages eight and nine. <laughs> ah, okay. If you're ever unsure during this adventure where to continue reading from, always go back to where the gold ribbon is. Go on to page nine. During a round of the game, you draw all the discs from the bag one by one. Okay. They are piled on the mill wheel. Okay. Bottom right of the game board. The color of the drawn discs indicate whose turn it is. Mm. Any player may now draw the first disc from the bag. Immediately read what happens. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. I whoa, pulled whoa, whoa. turquoise. Turquoise, here we go. Your stomach is rumbling. Yeah. You haven't eaten anything for days. One of Will Scarlet's teammates, you always have someone else read your character's entry. Okay. So Nikki will not read her own person's uh, action. 
or adventure, continues reading what happens on page 10. You've been waiting here in the forest for hours in the hope of ambushing an unarmed traveler. Suddenly you hear steps. Who could it be? A merchant? One of the sheriff's guards? Task. You must now move toward the large clearing. Oval Tile 10 is also in that clearing. A clearing means this light section. These shaded parts are not in the clearing. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Um, let me go back and explain one more thing about uh, movement. Sorry. Mm -hmm. If, if uh, let's use uh, Nikki's uh, movement. Sure. If she wanted to move to this clearing, let's say she used this piece, yeah. you could also backtrack a little bit, like she could move there, not to the very oh. end of her piece okay. there. She doesn't have to go all the Can way to the end of her piece. she put half the cube inside the bag then? <laughs> no, <laughs> she could not. But you don't have to always move to the exact end, end of it. Okay. And in fact, it even says like, if you just wanted to move a tiny bit, you could just place your figure like right there. You don't have to actually use the, the, the figure. Okay. If you only need to move there, that yes, far, yeah. you know how far you can, you, know, okay. you can get like a little bit away. All right. Important, don't go too far and make sure you stop your move whilst completely in the shade as you want to be able to see who's coming. Oh. Then any player draws the next disc from the bag and reads on from where the goal is. I think that this is so, one of those ones. This is a type you're, of you're setting up she an can just move it. I think so too. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. So go ahead and, yeah, go ahead and do it anyway. Okay. And the I edge would say, of the clearing there. Yeah. Am I still all in the in the I think so. Okay. And I'd say put a white cube in the bag okay. since she did not use the one white long, cube. Uh, okay. character movement piece. Uh, then we go back to where the gold ribbon lies and draw okay, another. So I have to pick another tile. That's okay, they all feel the same. Red. Red. Oh, I'm so Dark wild. events. Didn't you feel that? I, I mean, didn't feel that. <laughs> I did not feel it well enough. The sheriff of Nottingham gazes over the landscape. Early this morning, he sent out a few guards for security. For today is a special day. Now flip over the oval tiles six, bottom by the river. And 12 top in the forest. Oh, these are guards. 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 Okay. We're out guards. Out on the town. Oh, okay. Now throw one violet cube in the bag. Uh oh. No. Violet. That's something bad. Yeah. And any player draws the next disc from the bag. Okay. No, that's that's the only bad one. Right? No, we we think so, yes. We're not supposed to read it all in. Turquoise. No, yeah, is that turquoise? Blue. That's blue. That's me. Blue. The gallows are approaching. One of Little John's teammates now continues reading on page 11. Don't lose that yellow ribbon, though. I will <laughs> not use the little, the little ribbon. The little ribbon. Okay, so you are not the only one that's been captured by the sheriff in the last few weeks. The Crown collected high taxes. Whomever couldn't pay their taxes was considered to be a traitor and was persecuted and their belongings seized. The residents of Nani Lam have lived in constant fear and have little hope for better days. Place the rounded bard figure on space 17 on the banner of hope in the game board. That's correct. Oh, banner of hope. As all this goes through your mind, you try to free yourself from your chain again, but you still cannot move. If, like you, a player is currently captured by a guard, they cannot move. Therefore, you do not use your long playing figure and can at least save your strength. That means you can now throw one white cube in the bag. Okay. Here we go. You're gonna need it to start running. Yeah. Uh, break these chains. Now we uh, go back and draw a new disc. So I'll hand this back to you, and I will not put this. Just, okay. Just you and I left. Yeah. Here Should we go. be. Hey, Robin. Green, Robin Hood. Robin Hood. You breathe in the cold and wet forest air of Sherwood. It's been years since you were last here, way back before the Crusades. Since then you have been plagued by weird dreams of suffering and fire and a horned creature. It's as though this shape has been summoning you. Task. You must now move forwards towards the shape, 90, center of the forest. Then draw the next disc. Okay, so I need to move towards here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's like a witch so it does woman. Look like a scary monster thing. Maybe it is a witch woman. Yeah. So. Maybe it's, uh, now, do we want to save our strength, or do you want me to try to get I there? I don't know. It's up to you. Yeah. Good question. Well, let's at least go there. Now, let's see. Can I get there on one move? No. Yeah. I no. Think you can Too just far. go Towards. Towards is all you can do. Can yeah. Go for it. Can this guard this, see me? Well, remember, he's waiting to see what's happening. I'm here. I, I almost feel like you should. It's good. You do what you want to do. But maybe stay in the shape. I think he's gonna have to use the long figure at one at some point. Sure. Because even another move with the short ones may not get him there. Or it might. Am I allowed to figure that out? No, nope, I'd okay. say no. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. In so fact, put yourself over here, maybe. Can I just put it like that? Sure. Okay. Let's do All right. it. Okay. So then I turn. Right. Okay. So and then cool. one more disc, and we can probably guess what color it's going to be. Okay. Let's but put the white in the bag. Cube. One more cube. I put the cube in oh, here. Yeah. Here's yellow. There you go. Finally, Maid you are Marian. made married. Finally, you are back in Nottingham. Hopefully, still in good time since you received some bad news a few days ago. Your father is guilty of heresy. It said. Oh no. A terrible mistake. You have no doubt about that. But of course, you want to find out more. Task. You now have to move towards the woman, 130 bottom of the forest. Here. Mm -hmm. After that, draw the next disc. You're going to do you have your own adventure. We all have our own little uh, job to do. Yep. <clears throat> do you want to do the long one or no? I haven't I'm thinking about it. It's not going to get me there, so yes. conserve the energy till the next turn. Sure. Probably. Yeah. So you get a white cube. Okay, here's a white cubes. Making a mess here. Right. So Aaron, what happens if there's no more cubes in the, uh, no more discs in the bag? Let me read the bottom of this page. Thank it says, you. <laughs> <laughs> if there are no more discs in the bag, the first round ends. Continue reading on page 12. Congratulations, you have mastered the first round. Yay. <laughs> Throw all discs used in the last round back in the bag. Okay. Place the gold ribbon here between pages 12 and 13. Okay. I should have gotten a okay. gold ribbon or out. Just a, a I know, right? Yeah. Or a, gold, a, gold a highlighter or something, yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Turn sequence. This, the following rules are very important and therefore depicted at the top of the game board. Take a look at it together. <laughs> this sequence must always be carried out in the following order. Move, save your strength, perform one of the following two actions, examine or defeat. Ooh. In the next round, you will get to know these two actions. We will start with examine. Defeat. New rule. <laughs> if during the course of the adventure, the standing figure of a player touches a tile with a question mark on it, they're explaining this now to us because none of us could have possibly reached a tile right. on the first yeah, round. Clearly. <laughs> they may examine it. Mm -hmm. It must not simply be flipped over. To examine works like this. You will see a small number on the relevant tile. This corresponds to the page number here in the book. A teammate therefore reads to you what happens on the given page. Important, a tile without a question mark cannot be examined. Well, interesting. When examining, you must also know which adventure you are currently playing. Reminder, you are currently playing The Escape. So okay. the same number might appear in multiple adventures, yeah, sure. but we're clearly yeah. playing The so Escape and we'll read that. Choose yeah. your own adventure book. Totally yeah. exactly yeah. like it. Uh, on to page 13, any player may now draw the first disc from the bag. Do you want to do the discs this turn? Okay. Okay, here you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're she ready? might, she'll probably feel the red disc more clearly. Than yeah, maybe. probably. There's a yellow Yeah, disc. don't draw that red disc. <laughs> There's Maid Marion. Yellow, Maid Marion. Look, a maid, perhaps out picking mushrooms. She might know what your father is doing. Task. In this turn, you must now touch and examine the maid tile with your second standing figure. You have to. You have to. This means that a teammate then reads to you what happens on page 130. I gotta use the thingy this time. That's okay. Well, I guess I should leave that and use this yep. one. There we go. Hey, maid. Hey. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. It's Maid Mary. So no maid. white cube in the bag, as we know. Yep. All right. Rowena, the maid. Oh, so she's actually like, just to show, just to show us all in the book. She's in all these different adventures, and it tells oh. you all these different pages that you could examine this tile in. Interesting. But we know the escape, page one thirty one. Okay. Hmm. I do know you. The maid shouts back. You are Lady Marion. You ask about the rumors concerning your father. I'm afraid you have heard correctly. Father Egbert heard his confession himself. I feel sorry for you, but heresy is a great evil. I'm afraid they will also suspect you. Now flip over the maid tile. What happened there? Could that be possible? Could your father actually be a devil worshiper? No, oh. you energetically shake your head. Now you must speak to the priest as quickly as you can. Task, you must reach Father Egbert 150 in the village as quickly as possible. Oh, he's so far away. Oh my goodness. Any player now draws the next disc from the bag and reads what happens there. Here we go. Blue. Blue. Little John, you try to defeat the guard. One of Little John's teammates now reads what happens on page 14. 14. Okay, Little, little John's turn currently looks like this. Move, not possible because he is still held captive. 
Two, save your strength. Yes, therefore he may now throw one white cube into the bag. Sweet. Perform one of two actions. You shall now learn the second action, defeat, which is Ooh. quite simple. In order to defeat a guard, the player must touch the guard tile with their standing figure. The player then draws up to three cubes, one after the other from the bag. If they draw only violet cubes, they have unfortunately not defeated the guard. Nothing else happens. The player may try again during their next turn. If they draw a white cube, the guard is defeated and they must immediately stop drawing cubes. The cubes never, exclamation mark, go back into the bag, but <laughs> yeah. always to the supply of all wooden parts. Interesting. Okay, I like that. Stop. Only continue here if John, little John has defeated the guard. Guess what you get to do? Well, so do you put your guy here to try to He's defeat? already he's already touching the guard figure. So oh, no. okay. I'm taking the defeat. I thought it was a standing action. figure. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is a standing about. figure. Oh, okay, okay, okay. These are your standing figures. All right. Okay. I thought it's they not meant literally, literally standing, standing. Yeah. but it is your standing. Come on, figure. white. We have lots of whites in there. I we know. actually want the purple first because it will come out get of the bag out. and you yeah. get, three get three draws. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to feel, feel around feel the, the, the violet, <laughs> yeah. And we want to get that first. No, no. <laughs> so he's defeated. Now what happens? Okay. Does it tell you, tell you? If the guard has been defeated, the guard tile is flipped over and you will see a reward of plus one hope. Yeah, I see a reward. Beneath the guard, move the bard one space to the right of the banner of hope accordingly. The Ding. banope. Okay. Got it. Hope, hope. Important. If the guard is flipped face down again on the game board, also place one additional wooden hourglass on top of it so the guard does not return too quickly. The player places his figure back again, so it is t still touching the, the guard tile. So you're, you're there. And so that's, uh, we're not doing that yet, but there, that's a method by which guards don't reinforce very quickly once you defeat them. Otherwise, ah, okay. there's, some, there's some mechanic that will replace them at some point. Okay. Okay, okay. You can actually, in the book, place a red ribbon, which obviously References like the latest rule that you've learned. Yeah, we got um, two. So yeah, you can refer to the uh, rules for the defeat action. And now, uh, any player now draws the next disc from the, from the bag and reads what happens from where the gold ribbon lies. Okay. We do have two two lovely ribbons I in know, our book that we nice. that we can't reuse because of our sad German skills. <laughs> All right, uh, next disc, Nikki. Okay. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Turquoise. Nikki, you are so that would be me. There, an unsuspecting traveler. He's all yours. Task in this next turn, you must now touch the figure of the green player with your second standing figure. As soon as you have done this, one of Will Scarlet's teammates will read what happens on page 15. You should have moved closer. Yeah, you can reach him. I, I think I will. You're gonna have to use yeah. the you're, long you piece. You probably do it with just the just long piece. The long piece Sorry. Although yeah. well, maybe joking. you can do it. You I'm should joking. see, because that's toy. No. Oh, you think so? No. No, no, no. no way. So long piece, so no white cube, so I get then, there. You get there. Hey, hey what's I'm up? touching you, Robin of Hood. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 You go in to strike a blow, uh -oh. but you stop at the very last moment. Robin? You stare silently at one another. When Robin left several years ago, you did not part as friends, and now your mind replays everything that happened. You guys should be staring down at each other right now, angrily. Okay. Mm. Then Robin finally breaks the silence. Will, you were right. The Crusades were a mistake. I should never have followed King Richard into this madness. I told you so. That's your whole turn. Any player now draws the next disc from the bag and reads what happened where the gold ribbon lies. Look at this. It might be a hideout over here. Ooh, yeah. good tile. Uh, next disc. I told you so. Okay. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> Green. Green. All right. Uh, you suddenly feel a piercing look. Turning around, you notice a figure, bent and seemingly ancient. They are wearing a decoration of feathers and animal skulls on their head. They beckon you over. In this turn, you must now touch and examine the unknown shape tile 90 yes. with your second standing figure. Then a teammate will read page 90. I think I have to uh, run over there, right? Uh, You're I just think, not I th even going to say wait. goodbye. You're just yep. taking hey, you off. Had, you guys had your chat. See you later. <laughs> yeah, OK. Here you go. Here, I'm at 90. Bye bye. And this is called. <laughs> well, we, we bye bye. Totally, we totally bye -bye. did the right thing though, because yeah. you drew and we didn't. We didn't take, conserve our energy. I mean, you would have had well, one top, one cube. You were there. gonna have. You'd had one cube. If we, yeah. if the rest of us did ran, you know. Although Will was encouraged not to leave the sh shadow, so that right. guaranteed another cube in there. Kind of yeah. encouraged. Do, do I turn this over yet, or do I? Um, no. I want to examine this. Well, no, I don't know if you do that. But. Right. It will tell us if you need to. Okay, I'm going to examine it. We, uh, you have found the guardian of the forest. I thought it was just whispering to you. 
Well, now. The close. escape on page 91. The figure greets you with a rough, weak voice. Robin of Loxley. <laughs> you left a long time ago, but now you are finally back. Not a day too early. The whole of England is in danger. What is that supposed to mean, you ask? A storm is coming, and it will begin here, here in Nottingham. <laughs> <laughs> the figure retreats into the undergrowth. I will tell you more when we see each other again. But you must be careful, young Robin. As soon as the sheriff knows that you are here, he will hunt you down. He already caught your old friend, Little John. If you hurry, you may still be able to save him. I'm never doing that again because it's going to wreck my throat. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll flip over the Guardian You should have asked Robin for some water, I think. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, attention! Oh. If a player is standing on the same clearing... Uh, go ahead and flip it. Okay. Uh, it wasn't for you. <laughs> if a player is standing on the same clearing as a face-up guard and the red disc is then drawn from the bag... Well, that's what's going to happen. The guard will capture the player. Is no. there a guard? No, no. No, as a face-up guard. You're not here, and it's yeah. you're not in that path. But I mean, the, oh, this the means disc that's in here right That now. the guard does not automatically capture you if you step onto their clearing, but if the red disc is drawn. Right. So we're learning that the red disc is sort of a danger check. Oh, right. So if there's a, like an active guard, and you're in the light with right. them, right. like right. here or up Sorry. there, yep. they will capture you and take you to the prison. Okay. Uh, Sorry. Important. Hey. Clearing means the bright regions in the castle or the village or the forest. In order to stay safe, a player must stand their figure fully in the shade. Any player now draws the next disc from the bag and reads what happens from where the gold ribbon lies. We can probably guess what color it's going to be, yeah. yes. but luckily we're not going to get arrested by the guards. I'm surprised. <gasps> it's, red. Ooh. it's red. From a distance, the sheriff can hear fanfares blaring and can't help but smile. Only he knows whose arrival they're announcing. The hope drops by two. Oh. Move the bard to the left. Now flip over the oval tile seven left next to the castle gates. Now throw one violet cube in the bag. Oh, here you go. This is now a guard in this big clearing right. way here. Yeah, okay. This huge clearing oh, in the village. Oh no, another guard. Any player then draws the next disc from the bag. If there are no more discs left in the bag, the second round ends. Continue reading on page 16. Exciting. Dun, dun. Well done, you have mastered another round and have already learned the most important rules. You should now take a breather for a moment and relax. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you would like something to drink. Yeah, yes, I think I would. Too. Cheers. You got, make sure you give some to the old guy in the, the mm -hmm. shrubs there. Yeah, he's, he definitely needs it, right? Yeah. Shall we continue? Let's go. Yeah. Yes. Throw all discs back into the bag. I think Lincoln's going to be our bag drawing guy this turn. Place six hourglasses on the bad end book at the bottom of the game board. Oh. During the adventure, there will be fewer and fewer hourglasses at the bad end. If the last hourglass is removed from there, you have lost. Uh-oh. The whole game? The hope in the land, this adventure. There's okay. actually a way to retry if you've failed an adventure. Okay. Um, the hope in the land will also sink. If the hope falls to zero, you lose another hourglass from the bad end. Tip, you may also defeat guards without being captured. You can make a conscious effort to defeat a guard. See page 14, which is the defeat rule we've already okay. learned. Mm -hmm. In this way, you can increase hope in the land. As we've already seen, most guard tiles have a plus one hope underneath them. So that's something we can do if we want to raise up that hope meter. Well, there. I think Maid Marian's going to have to try to do that because I don't think she Otherwise, can, she'll be trapped she in one of these the clearings. Water, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think she's. I don't know if how she. If do she, all the guards how her swimming come out strength of the toilet? Is. <laughs> it's all the toilet shape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chamber pots. Uh, in this way, you can increase. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They don't, nobody knows what a toilet seat is back here. Yeah. You can increase hope in the land and make a clearing safe for a while. That's your strategy tip there. Aim of this adventure: all of you must stand together in the same piece of shade anywhere outside the castle before the last hourglass has been removed for, from the bad end. Okay. To achieve this, you must first fulfill the following task: examine the game board to find a way for Little John to leave the castle. You'll notice there are no passageways out of the castle right now. Mm -hmm. There are no ways for me to get out of there. This is true. Okay. 
It doesn't come up. I mean, okay. it does. There's, there's a big tile. Right? Yeah. But see, there's a, there's a question mark there. There's, there's a question mark there. There's a guy here. There's a guy here. That's it right now. There's well, a guard like that could appear here. No, no, but any question maybe marks only. Maybe you're dropping down the wall there. Oh, you know, like yeah. A, a little rope. rope. A little rope, maybe. Hey, a oh, rope, rope. Oh, 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 hey. oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no. John can, of course, only reach the castle wall using the stairs. Uh-huh. He can move up here. Okay. And cannot simply jump from the castle walls. Additional task, if Maid Marian is in the game, she must examine Father Egbert as quickly as possible before she joins the others in the shade. Place the golden ribbon the here now. between pages 16 and 17. Any player now draws the first disc from the bag. Read what happens. This is exciting. Hey, it's Will Scarlet. And this is simply, it's Will Scarlet's turn. After that, draw the next disc. What? So That's I just you. start writing? You take a turn. That's it. Get okay. going. Well, so you can, uh, yeah, um, uh, go for something. That's your. Do you that's want your turn. to start taking out guards so we can try to get? I in? yeah. Where do we want to try to get in? Well, we know that Lincoln has to get here. We know that we got to do something in the castle. Right. And uh, there's a question mark lady down here. There's a question mark thing by the river. Mm -hmm. There's a cart here. Yeah. So yeah. go towards something. Yeah. Or is it, what's that? Trump. It's an egg in a tree. I don't know. It's a beehive, I'm probably. I'm sure it's a beehive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's treasure. Maybe someone tied up their uh, sweet uh, or it's supplies. A so yeah, go. I, okay. so they're gonna take the beehive and throw it into the uh, into the center of the castle. I don't wanna, yeah, only question marks. You said okay. Right. Okay. Everything else is just a blank. Right. Well, if I go to the beehive. Sure. Try it. it. Try it. Oh, beehive. Oh. <laughs> oh. I can't get there. You can. Yeah, because you can place your figure diagonally. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. In the shade. I'm trying to get like in, on the cutout. You just got to touch it. You just it. have you to touch, touch that it. tile, yeah. that cutout tile. Yeah, we're yeah. touching. Yeah. All right. It's okay. right in the... Um, right? You, can, you can also there. skew the guy a little bit, Yeah, you right? can, and like, you can skew these a little bit. Yeah. I think you're fine. The yeah. tree line. I'm trying to avoid the trees, I think like you have to said. avoid the trees. Yeah. I, I, think so? there's, I think there's enough All right. from this side. Is there a number on that tile? 60, is that 64? No. No. It's just a oh, wow. 64. Oh, oh, it is 64. 64. Wow, it's this whole... Yep. I thought it was like that, just that. Yeah, yeah, me too. Okay. Okay. So I hoofed it over there. Your gaze falls on an old rotted tree. A bee's hive with fine honey hangs in it. You can now throw a white cube into the bag. Sweet. All right. Important, you do not turn over uh, number 64. Oh, okay. You can if we have the axe item, which we don't oh. at this time. Oh. oh. Axe item. All right. That's, that's it. That's the end of that turn. Very and good. That's it. Okay. Uh, next disc. Okay. Who's got the bag? I do. Maid Marion has the bag. Oh, oh dun, dun, dun. This is something new. <laughs> something new has been added. The sheriff notices a carriage decorated with gold approaching. Finally, he is here. Uh oh. Flip over the octagonal tile 24 at the very bottom of the forest. Ooh. The land loses three hope. Oh. Wow. Oh. Flip Marian, over. You're close to this. Flip over the oval tiles three to the left of the castle. That's going to be a guard. Yep. Dang it. Four to the right behind the church. Behind the church. And this is gonna probably more guards, and five in the village. Oh, all kinds of guards. Uh, we got problems now. Yeah, we do. Right here. Right Attention! Here. If a player now stands on the same clearing as a face-up guard, they are immediately captured, and their figure is laid on that guard. The land loses two hope. Is anyone in no. the clearing of the guard? No. <sighs> okay. Thank goodness I went the other way. Remove the top hourglass from the bad end, and from guard one in the courtyard. But we didn't actually do that one. Okay. Uh, the guards are not flipped automatically in this way. Now throw one violet cube oh. into the bag. That sounds pretty vi violent. So that's yes. a way that uh, if, I think the next round is going to tell us again, like uh, if there are empty guard cube spaces, there's a way to flip them over and have the guards reappear. But we'll find out. Uh, guards any up any player draws the next disc from the bag. Yellow. Yellow. Hey, it's Maid Marian's turn. It is Maid Marian's turn. Goodness. So what do I do now with this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Here. What sorry. What do I do with the? Um, we still, we still don't know is who this Richard? is. But I, is it Richard or is it uh, uh, Prince John? Prince John, the bad, the yeah. bad king. But but there's no, uh, you can't examine it or attack it. Nope, no you can't do anything to it. It's just so I think it's also 
We probably can't move through it. Probably have to go around it. Really? Wow. Yeah. It's a yeah. solid so now object. You have to what go are you gonna this way? No, no, you just have to go around the edge. So I would get to here because you, you yeah, just, yeah, there's yeah. a guard here. Right. Unless you're gonna unless you can get to here. I so I cannot touch that tile, you think? No, you I think you just can't it. touch the literal picture. Yeah, I think you have, you have to go, go around like it. skirt around the edge right yeah. there. Well I'm okay. Yep. We're not gonna get very far, but that's fine. Well, that's that's part of the game. Go ahead and try to do that for me, Nick B. Okay. Yeah, that's part of the game. That is yep, it's yeah. Going around the artwork is, is is part of the game. Oh yeah, you are going to be stuck in. Well, at least there's no guards here, so you're going to be. Yet. You're going to be in the light. <laughs> That's fine. Well, notice there is a guard I know. potentially right there. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, don't touch it. Don't. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Who's next? Next disc. Yeah, maybe next turn you get to like up there. Hopefully. I think it's going to be Little John. You're right. Oh. All right. Okay. So I guess You're I think I want to go up the stairs right? here. Oh, no. You got out. Yeah, I, I yeah. escaped. He, he knocked him out or whatever. Yeah. Um, guess I want to go up the stairs. There's the only really things I can examine. So the only things that I can do, places that I can examine, are this sort of escape route over the wall, and the gallows, which is right here next to me, and I'm gonna. Try. You I'm could gonna, rig the gallows so that I can do something there. So let's see what it is. And since this is obviously just such a close little tiny little move, yeah. I'm just going to do this, which yeah. will put a white cube in the bag Sad. for us. Sweet. And then Mike is going to read uh, 121. What or so you're from doing me. here is extremely risky. <gasps> what if a guard spots you? You carefully loosen the loop and wind up the strand. You place one cube of your color on the rope to show that you have the Ooh. rope. Nice. Nice. Now you have, if you touch uh, uh, item num uh, tile number 111, you now can use the rope on this. Hey, wow. sounds like a plan. Nice job. All right. Yeah. Your teammate will then read to you if you go to that location. Perfect. All right, next disc. Oh, there's only one left, isn't there? It's going to be Robin Hood's turn. It okay. should be. Okay, let's get going. All right. Can you reach that guard? I'm going to try. Gonna try the the well, let's let's uh, let's gamble. Let's see if I can reach the guard first. For guards. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, is that, am I touching it there? It's a very see, flat. I know it's real tough to. I guess that's about as much. If we soak them in wood, water, oh, they man. might uh, bend a little. No, I think you're going to have to hide this. Hold on. Turn. Let's let's. Uh, oh, there's that. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah. I think no, so. I think you can. Cheater. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, that's good. He's touching it. All right. <laughs> he is. I think he's. Yeah. I agree. I'm right. looking at it. it doesn't do, look um, like there's any cheaters. You get up to think, three. No, Mickey, look, this got shoved. You're a cheater. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me finish. <laughs> well, this got shoved, so it wasn't touching, but it does touch because yeah. it, was, it, it, was it has beyond. to go like has to go like this, right? It can't go like. Uh, that's, is that okay? Well, all they have to do is touch. Yeah. I mean, you're not. But I mean, you can't touch the castle it. either. Uh, Oh yeah. Okay. Touch is oh yeah, touch totally. Is. I have enough. Yeah, look, like, that's a I good millimeter. A, more Thank than you. a toe on that side. <laughs> Bam! I'm not standing on the castle stones there, though. No. Look, All right. That, All right. I can't tell. It's it's hard that? to tell the shape. Okay. Attack that guard. Uh, I'm, going, I'm, going, I'm going to fight the card. So now you get, it's uh, cubes. That's oh. good, actually, because it takes a purple cube out. But as long as you get three. As long as you don't get three purple cubes in a row. The guard is defeated. Both of those go out. Dude, I, smack, goes, I smack him for the that flips over. Yeah, and we get it. We get some hope, right? On a rope. Hope on we a do. Rope. Well, it'll say underneath. Yes. There you go. I got the board. Hope on a we rope. We do get hope plus one. Now, do we put this back because he's still there? We put it. We, well, we put or the, on the hand. an hourglass, right? An hourglass. Yeah. Because he won't come immediately sure back. Huh. Conked him on the head. Upside down. I think that's why they have it flat on the top, so you can yeah. line that up. Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, there we go. Yay, all right. It's and still, except it's not perfectly uniform, right? If there are no more discs in the bag, the third round ends. Continue to page 118. Congratulations, you are in the middle of a great adventure. Okay. Throw Yay. all the discs back in the bag. Throw a gray disc into the bag as well. Oh, uh, what's gray? New rule! <laughs> if a gray disc is drawn, it's the turn of any player of your choice. Decide as a group who uh, that will that's be. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah. The drums are beating, and the fanfares blare. Now flip over the carriage tile 24 at the bottom of the forest so it is no longer visible. Okay. And also, 25 in the castle courtyard. So that's where he's going to be now? Since King Richard left for the Crusades, the land has been ruled by his younger brother, Prince John. 
That very same man now climbs out of the magnificent carriage. The sheriff of Nottingham bows deeply before the prince. But all little John is thinking, Prince John in Nottingham? What does this mean? Mm. Info. The adventure ends as soon as all of you stand together in the same piece of shade outside the castle or the last hourglass has been removed from the bad end. You must now read how this adventure ends on page 20. Well, that's if, that's if we fail yeah. or succeed. Yes. Um, we will have one more rule to uh, learn when the red disc comes out, otherwise we know what we're doing and we'll proceed to the end of this adventure. Okay. Okay, Mike, your turn. Thank you. Let's see if I can do better this time, not, not pull out the red one at the beginning. Hey, hey look at that yellow. yellow. Maid Marion. Where are you headed? See, I mean, it's weird. Like, there's some touchstone stuff here. You'd think that maybe I can, like, trek along the rocks oh, there, maybe. Right. Well, you want or to try the it? boat. Should I touch that stuff there? Oh, I mean, it's a boat. But that's, it's a boat. Uh, yeah, it's paddle, a boat. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Otherwise, you're either... You you're might. not going to be able to make it all the way around here. Yeah, I mean, I think I have to do that. I have well, to go to the boat. Well, I mean, I don't even need to... No, you can just go there. There I am there. Wee! I'm on the boat. Gather your strength. All right. 208. You find a boat on the riverbank. Do you use it? If you do, you will get to go to uh, tile 209. Wow. However, oh, it will cost us two purple cubes. Ooh. Oh. Now, uh, that we have to make a decision. You have to make a decision at this point now. Sure. We'll continue on. Okay. I don't know that I can run to get to. Maybe I sneak up here and check out with this, and then maybe ride along and I attack think, him or something. But you got Robin and Will Scarlet okay. also heading that way. Sure, but the problem is, is I need to get to this you, point, and there's a guard there. I mean, I can easily maybe. I think you him. should take the boat and get to that guard. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to take you a waste a long time. Yeah, and I'm gonna hopefully maybe kill the guards on the way on the way over and uh, make a path for you. Yeah, okay. We, because we gotta Fine. get the people out. And we're all, right, and we're all gonna meet somewhere here in the middle. -ish. Sure. So you put the two purple cubes in the bag. You then turn over um, tile one uh, two oh eight. Okay. Okay. And then you can take up to two people on the boat. Wow. Oh. And then you would flip over 209 because that should be where the boat is. That's where the boat is. How clever. So uh, we flipped over the two towels. That's great. So um, what happens is if you take the boat from this location, you go back to this location. They can always take two people. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. We don't really know about it until you actually examine the boat. Yeah. From afar, you couldn't see if it was a one person or a two person mm -hmm. boat. Okay. Yeah. okay. Now we know for the whole campaign that it's a two person boat, hopefully. Mm -hmm. All right, next disc. Okay. Not red. Could be gray. Come on. Blue. All right, all right, I've got a rope. I know where I'm headed. All right, you go. Let's get up, this, up uh, stairs. these stairs and see what I see if I can reach this thing. I'm running. I think you can. I think, I think you I can too. Oh, I, I think can you can. Just, let's, oh, like, yeah, I'll angle me up to there yep, yep, yep. Like, where I can't like jump in midair, but yeah. yeah. We're definitely pre yeah you yeah can, you can you're there oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't play don't let me play you need Jenga. the uh, <laughs> need like the museum putty to stick this stuff down play cold yeah exactly <laughs> yeah uh, you're good I'm good, uh, good. give me one eleven I'm gonna try and okay do whatever I can do with the rope there okay. You can only examine here if you have the rope item, which you do. Yeah. Put your cube of the, the color back into uh, from the supply. You then rope. turn over 111 Ooh. to now use your rope. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. That was pretty good, yeah. All right, I have used this that rope. Yeah. You're staying up <laughs> there. So on your turn, you can you basically can move up and down the rope. Uh, okay, okay. And I've other, created a path. Right, and I'm going to show everyone how this looks like this. So you basically use the rope oh. as, a, as a distance oh. marker. Yeah. That's part of your movement. And do, I, do I use a figure on it, it like this? Like you yes, use next turn. Yeah. Yep, okay. exactly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, any person, any of us can use the rope. Oh, okay. nice. Oh, okay. That's the end of the turn. Great. Uh, next disc. Okay. 
Getting out of this castle. Never coming. Great. Great. Hey. Any players here? All right. I think one of you, like you, are the furthest away here, Will yeah. Scarlet. I think yeah. you need to move. Start running towards. Since well, we're all sort of heading this way, we want to gather in one but of these. I think but I should move and kill the guard first because if, I think otherwise, then that creates a path for him. Yeah. Right. I think that's what. Uh, does that sound okay? That does sound okay. Yep. Okay. Let's try this out. Because otherwise, he doesn't have much place to go. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'll push it back because we've had these problems of. Uh, Getting there. Oh, see, I'm fine, right? Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, to the guard here, <gasps> and I'm going two to purple attack, cu- attack the draw. Cubes in there that yes, the but I still don't even. If we have attack the guard, if we have three, that's all the purple cubes that are in the bag. There's not that many. We it don't want to fail Okay, here we go. No, but we we don't mind purple. one purple and then yeah. one white. Or another like purple that. and another. That'd white. be a little oh scary. Here we go. <gasps> oh. oh. Okay, can I pick the white cube that's in here? Please do. Oh. Yeah, was, that was perfect. That's exactly what you want. We got the two purple out of the bag and then okay, got so that. Okay, so I attack guy. that. Yeah. Happiness, so hope goes up by one. You, you, you missed out on that, your parkour opportunity there. Yeah, right. I see your flip. There you go. And then that goes there. Nicely okay. done. Good job. Okay. Robin so that's Hood. Uh, you, I did. I could so. snuck up. That was the gray. So, do you take out his green disc, or is he nope, it's getting just two turns? An extra turn. He's getting two turns. And One person we okay. choose this turn gets two turns. And he was allowed to use his green and and yep. and the gray if he wanted the, to. Could you? The gray it all? is something totally different that we don't know what oh. it is yet. Oh, oh, I thought it was all part it of the disc. It does not have to okay. do oh, the gray yeah. disc. Oh yeah, we think there's right. the gray disc ma- yeah. match these. It yeah. does. Yeah. There's another not. gray disc too, by the way. There is another gray disc. All right. Ooh, there's yeah, also. That's my purple. question. There's also white and purple. Okay. What do they do? Who I knows? Don't know. Okay, here we go. Red. Oh. Red. Okay. Well, the lamb happened. loses three hope. Oh my oh, gosh. Wow. Really? Oh, my well, guys. that's why these are the things. If a player now stands on the same clearing as a face-up guard, I guess this building blocks that clearing. I would say so. I would say so. It, if it doesn't. Otherwise, that's a very, very large clearing. Yeah. It's blo- it's in the way. You can't move through it, so it's, it's in the way. It's a block. Yeah. In fact, in fact, the rules are very clear that this even where you could supposedly move behind something, Correct. you can't. You're it's not. a block. It's you a cannot block. move through that. Right. And Marion's in the shadows. Yes. So, so uh, you would be captured, obviously, but none of us are uh, cap- capturable. Mm-hmm. Uh, that would also lose to another two hope. If there are several players in a clearing that would be captured, the only the closest one to the guard is captured. Okay. okay. Remove the top hourglass from the bad end. If hope is at zero, you remove two hourglasses. Oh, That's yes. a way to hurry along the end of the game and try and lose there. Yeah. And you also remove the top hourglass from each guard space. Okay. okay. Ah. We don't yet know how these will flip up, but this will remove the timer that stopped them from doing that. Okay. We now throw one violet cube Per player oh. into the bag. Oh, wow, well, we're in trouble now. So, now so things are getting tougher now. Well, I'm glad we killed that guard for. I don't think really. you killed him. You just knocked. I him. think it's just knocked out. Or, you know, knocked tied him, him up. He swooned. And, he swooned. And yes. He's got little, little cuckoos and stars <laughs> right. circling around his head <laughs> until someone finds him and uh. reestablishes his, his patrol. Okay. Uh, that's the all the rules for introductory scenario adventure one, and we're just going to go until we win or lose. So yeah, only the green disc was yeah, left. Yeah. Still waiting for Robin to. I still have a turn. Oh yeah, yeah. There's another. Still yeah, waiting. Real turquoise. There's another one here. Real turquoise. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> do you want me to try? I, I I'll try to get to here, but yeah, do you want me to try to kill off? What, this? Well, you're not going to get to that this turn, right? Right. So, well, I'll just I'll save my um, resources though. Yeah, we need maybe some. Do you want to talk to this guy, or do you want to just go to the? Sh- we definitely need to take care of this guy and this guy. Well, we I'll try to get it. some white cubes. I know. In the back. Yeah, we probably right. do because we just added four purples. Yeah. So is this is this uh, is this in the shadows here? I think it is. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to do like that. You're there getting in the shadows. Yeah, I mean, just in, shadows. in case uh, yeah. something scary comes exactly. up. Exactly, and I'll do a white. Cube. And that's a white cube. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Oh, I got it. There we go. Here's the white cube. That goes in. Okay, and then and the last, only, last, only your color is last left. tile is that one. There Maybe. Okay. Do you want me to catch up, or do you want me to go slow so we can get another white cube in the back? You're the farthest away. I you are very far. far away. I say one. I got some 
some run into you. I don't know if we're going to meet here or meet or here. here. I'll get there well, remember, afterwards. Remember, you, you can, you know, part of this is you can make a more direct path. Sure. Right. Running, skirting along. I'll now you're like, not in the shade. At the end, hey guys, you need any help? Right. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for showing up. No, well, I'm here for the party. Yes. yes. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I want so the spoils. No, yeah, no I want the spoils. Yes. <laughs> okay. Is that the, okay. And then, uh, here you go. I'll give this to ah, okay. you. get to do the bag. But right. you, so and then you'll probably get the double move this turn just because we want right. to get everybody to right. there. Okay. All right. Otherwise, the guard. guard. All right. So there's no like end of turn business. The, the, nope. the, basically, the red feels like the end of turn, but it can come right at the okay. beginning of the turn. All right. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Dunt. Hey. You. All right. Move. Me. Will Scarlet might get it. I would say yeah. Well, let's just head for one of these shade spaces, right? Mm-hmm. Up here? Yep. Did I get, am I gonna get there? I think so, I think so. My toe? With my toe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey! Okay. Hi. Next disc. Red. Red. Three hope. Out the window. No one's arrested because no one's in here where the guards are. Remove the top hourglass. This is not good. One violet cube per player. Oh. Wow. Okay. That's now at this point, I say let's just avoid the guards and sneak to victory. Yes. Because we just put eight violet cubes in the bag. How right. do I get around though? See what I'm saying? You'll be fine because they're not going to pull a red. You can be in the oh, same yeah, yeah, space. True. They just can't pull a red. We have a long way Actually, before a red. Actually, it's nice. Actually, I can now. go yeah. around the building. I can just go around the building and be in the shade again. But or, or, just go, or just run here. Or like, just go in front of them. Or just them. go yeah. here and wait. Like, right? That's all we... Right. Oh, we, she has to go here. That's exactly. the problem. Yeah. So and go, that go is like in this. the light. No, it's okay. Go like this. Right, but I, that would mean I need to get the gray, the gray cube. The gray disc. Which is maybe what we're going to give I you. Think, yeah, you need to get it, exactly. Yeah, right, because right, I caught up. Because if the red comes back, then I'm in trouble. Right. Yes. We, yes. You need it absolutely. Okay, but on, that's, on, that's why it's good to do this. Yeah. It's going to be a damsel hold on, hold on, in distress, hold on, hold on. right? Uh, okay, oh. okay. We need to put the cubes oh, in the back. Well, I'm not she, we don't, it's pulling not, cubes. She's not pulling cubes I know, yet. But, but you're supposed to put it in the back. The bag. order, <laughs> the order, the order. Green. All right. Okay, so I'm going to try to get to here if possible. Yeah, should be fine. I don't know if this one. But should you just I know. do that and add a white cube? I, I mean, I feel like or, yeah. moving or, into the shade. Are you going to go talk to this guy? Can I? I think, I think yeah, you, you can. can. Yeah, yeah. Totally. let's do that. talk to that guy. Okay, I'll add a white, white cube. cube yay. You and uh, let's go talk to him. What so is essentially that? that line of sight is blocked as well. Exactly, yeah, because it's, yeah, right, it's yeah, uh, the building in the shade. Yeah. One it's point. two separate clearings. Uh, I'm going to examine uh, 140. All right, Robin Hood has found Colin. When Colin recognizes you, he raises an eyebrow. Well, you've got some courage to sneak around here. <laughs> the sheriff arrests criminals like you. Do you want to A, ask for a resource to help Little John escape the castle, or B, ask for assistance? Mm. I think you don't need a resource, he's got his rope. Yeah, let's ask for assistance. Hmm, I don't know if it will help you, but here's a little refreshment. You can now throw two white cubes into the bag. Okay. Wow. Then turn Colin the Carpenter's tile over, and any player draws the next disc from the bag. Okay. That's, that was good. We need to go get it refreshments from Colin. Yeah. Colin, Colin helps you out as much as he can. Thank you. Okay, next disc. Next disc. Oh. Yellow. Yellow. All right, Maid Marian, can you reach that guard and knock him out with one move. I, I think you can, yeah. And not just go around the building to the shadow on the other side. Oh, yeah. and maybe do that, do maybe that. go to the or, shadow. Or just go over here. I think while you have two moves, can you reach the monk in one long move? Well, Because then you do the monk to, and then yes. escape to the I'm shadow. I'm on the other side right. of the board, so. Yep. Oh yeah, you can get there. Yeah, that's to what the I monk? would do. Yeah, right here. Do we pass through the, the, the guard? No, you have to go around the guard. You can't go through the guard. Just, you can't? <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah, you can just get there, I think. Okay, well, here's the other. Yeah. There's my standing Marion. Look at that. It's this, like, it's being able to place diagonally that just lets you, like, touch. It's my resting Marion pawn. 
Hello, Father Egbert. Okay. Uh, 150. 150. This is kind of cool because it has a, if you are not Maid Marian, you read the top box where like basically nothing happens. And if you are Maid Marian, you read the correct encounter. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Father Egbert starts to shoo you away when he spots you. Lady Marian, what are you doing here? I'm here because I want to know why you think my father is a heretic. I'm afraid that is the truth, my child, I'm sorry. He himself confessed to having made sacrifices to the old gods. I don't believe you. Where is he now? I don't know, my child. See, when the sheriff's guards wanted to imprison him, this chap appeared and fought fiercely to allow your father to escape. Of course, the man was defeated in the end. Little John is his name. Do you know him? He is meant to hang today. Now flip over the priest tile. Your father, an escaped heretic? And little John on the gallows? Is it already too late to save him? Now any player takes the next, next disc from the bag. Okay. Hey. Oh, As we have discussed, I am going to That's rope dis down the side of I this think cabinet. That's disgusting. It's disgust. Do you need the other one or just to use the, uh, this, your standing one? Because you may be able to use the two small ones and get a cube out of that. I don't think we need any cubes. Really? I think we're staying in the shade. Uh, we're, sta we're not doing any more checks, you guys. We're staying in the shade until we all gather that's together. That's true, you said we're going to be sneaky. That's, that's, that's our game plan. We all basically do one more move after you get out of here and get out of that guard's sight yep. right now with this grace. Pretty you sneaky, greatest, ironically yeah. named Little John. <laughs> <laughs> And gray. gray. So Maid Marion. I don't do I need it now? You have to get out of this guard's sight. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, go to here if you and can. You might as well just go yeah, there. Okay. Well move Where? your No, I think okay. All right. okay. do we want to go there? Or hold on, there? hold on. Stay here. No, yeah. you gotta place your guy you guys. No, you don't. You well, I mean, I'm gonna get uh, he's he's right. We can get a cube in case we need oh, to do it. Yes. There we go. Okay. There you go. Here's a cube. Fair we there wanna get those cubes if yes. we can. I don't think but I just don't think we're doing any more skill checks. I think we basically well, what if we have it in the bag. Hold on. Da, da, da. <laughs> See, look how far that is. Which? Yeah, I know. Yeah, that was well. my next question. Which he grade? just doesn't think that there's going to be more guards revealing. Exactly. Well, there's no new rule to probably not. Reveal anything, but is what if saying. we keep to keep our keep our strength between adventures, I want to ah, keep my good strength. Point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. We might keep the whole bag composition. That's a good good idea. Mm -hmm. Which gray uh, are we heading oh, for? Well, that's a good. That's that's which our only. Shadow which are shadow are we for? meeting? Well, we have two people here already. But this guy is farthest away from that so let's, spot. So let's try for here if the bag lets us. Fair enough. Yeah. Now, does someone else want to draw? Because I, I drew last turn. So. Lincoln's turn to okay, draw. Okay, here we go. Come on, Lincoln. And if we don't. Right. Hey, little John. So we're going this, this one? Yep. Yeah, right. I think hey, so. Hey, guess what? White cube. Hey. Oh, right, yeah, I'm only moving it a little bit. There you go. White cube. Right, right, uh, there. Okay. Hey. Oh, there you are. Now, can you get there oh, Mr. Scarlet. in one long move? Why not? Can she spend I, a white I, I cube? I might be the person that has to can he spend a do the gray. Maybe. Yeah, you could be. But we would give you gray. Yeah, it looks like you're gonna have to do the gray. Yeah. So should I just run to here and hang out? It doesn't matter. She, to touches, be safe? The, she Although, touches the shadow if she puts the pawn there. You have to be fully in the shadow. Oh, you do? Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't matter because there's no guard in this clearing. Yeah. So what if I just. No, you're saying no? What if I just go to here? Well, what's, neither of you are in the, the shadow. I thought you were in no, the no. shadow. No. I, I was seeing shadow, uh, sorry. You have to be fully in a shadow. Yeah, I was to not in the shadow. shadow. So then just, I guess. That's fine. Right. Or we could, you could just do, get just behind him and ex take another cube. She can do that on the next move. She's gonna get the white. What do we cube do now? I, I've done exactly what Maid Marian is needed to do. We are we are gather just in the to, shadow yeah, exactly. and then read what happens when yes. we gather. I, but in the my shadows. point is, is nothing else is going to happen. We could exactly. actually we don't stuff the that. bag with white cubes. Since we I have no idea if we do, if we have no it. idea if that does yeah. anything, let's yes. not do it. Okay. All right. Okay. I actually disc. feel the bag the bag is going to be reset. It's honestly a guess. So let's not worry about it. Hey, right, yellow. 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 Just put yourself in yeah. the shadow there, hey, and we get a cube. cube. There you go. <laughs> Even though I said we don't do But well, we don't know. Yeah, we exactly. don't know. Next don't disc. Know. Hey, hey red. Red. Three hope. That's sad. No one arrested, because we're managing our shadows very well, of course. And then one and, double. Uh, and four purple cubes. <laughs> oh my god. Now we hope that the bag doesn't carry over, right? <laughs> What do we got? Sixteen in there at, now? At least twelve plus whatever else and is one left. One of those, right? One of those. 
Gray. Gray. That's going to be you. Well, yeah, you yeah. and add a white okay. cube. And then is green the only one left? Yeah. 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 Gray. No. Gray and green. Yeah. Green. I was pulling right. a cube out, too. Cube. There we yeah. go. There's a lot of cubes in there. There we go. Okay, we are done. The adventure ends as soon as all of you stand together in the same piece of shade Yay. outside the castle, or the last hourglass has been removed. You must then read how this adventure ends on page 20 of the book. <laughs> are you standing together in the same piece of shade? We then are. Here. The friends hugged one another. Aww. The escape was a success. Congratulations, you have won. Mm, sweet. Back together at last, whispered Robin. Yes, but I have troubling news, replied little John, and he told of the arrival of the prince. Robin didn't know much about Prince John, but what was he doing here in an unimportant county like Nottingham? Inevitably, he thought of the warning from the guardian in the forest. A storm is coming, <laughs> and it will begin here, here in Nottingham. <laughs> well, we'll solve this puzzle soon enough. We must first get out of sight. Let's go. My family's farm is not far from here. Of course, this was just the first of many adventures, and the real challenge still lies ahead of you. Right now, you have to carry out the instructions in the box below, so you know how to proceed next time. The next adventure. Leave all tiles as they are on the game board. Okay. Place both ribbons between page 22 and 23. Next time you start, play where the, start where the ribbons are. If you are not continuing to play right now, throw all the wooden parts into the bag and put the bag into the box. There you go. Carefully take the AP spinning game board. It doesn't say to empty the bag, so the cubes yeah. may stay where they are. No, no, we're putting all the wood in the bag. If you're not oh. continuing. All if the wood. It says all the wood. Yeah. Now what so, if we do continue? Do we get to... If you do continue, let's see. Actually, looking at the next page, page 22, at the start of chapter 2, each player adds six purple and one white cube to the bag. Wow. What? So wow. skill checks become tough, and you actually do need to gather your strength. Right. Nice. Wow. That's but cool. uh, but I do appreciate that. that we, it would have been silly to just run around and keep trying to affect the bag weight right. and add more yeah. cubes, to draw, run out the well, clock, basically. It does seem like you need to do that, though. You need to, like, conserve your energy. You know, like, clearly I'm not going to make it that far this time. As long as I'm safe, we need to spend that cube, you know? Yeah, yep. yeah. I and mean, you're getting I mean, that cube. We, uh, this was the introductory scenario, sure. so it made it very sure. easy on us and didn't make any of the skill checks very hard to fail. Well, I mean, you know, there was a chance. I mean, there, there was, was a, definitely There getting, was a chance, but I, not much. Mike had the best turn drawing two purple cubes and then a white cube. That was exciting. Cube. That, that, that was super exciting. exciting. That was exciting. <laughs> like, you need to do that, like, every time, at least pull a cup. I mean, obviously, it's just right. chance, but... But I do love that you're going to add more cubes for the players, too. Yeah. Oh, on yeah. top of all that. Yeah. Obviously, you're going to stack the bag differently, too, as it goes along, I mm -hmm. imagine. Right? Where they're, I where would the, think so. That's mm -hmm. how the forces become more difficult. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, as it's getting more perilous as we're trying to do whatever we're doing here. Let me show you just a couple of hints here for things to come, although we haven't even played Chapter 2, so we don't really know much. Um, we, we saw these hints about hourglasses making um, guards not not come back to patrol very quickly and we don't we don't know the exact mechanic yet but these seals here which I think will also go in the bag and draw out at random times will tell you which guards will appear oh. along with oh. other types of tiles Wow nice and uh, this giant tile here will flip over and show you all the other items that you can gain throughout the campaign okay. You also you place uh, cubes here to show what items you've got. Anything that has two stars on it like this means that tile is now that way for the rest of the game. The entire you know campaign. You what? I'm crazy. I said that those go in the back. They don't. Those are obviously going to be just for this. Yeah, they're just uh, probably as ownership tiles, yeah. property tiles, like the, what you have in your bag or whatever. So like, I think essentially like one star means mm -hmm. this is a temporary thing that is this okay. way for now, right. but some things can be permanently They'll changed. Tell you the guards found the rope and cut it. Yep. Right. Yeah. We move, yeah right. That's not going to stay forever, but some things. I don't know if we want to hide your eyes if you don't want to see a spoiler. What do you mean? We just spoiled the first chapter. <laughs> <laughs> just telling other people. Okay, okay. Is, look at these trees here. Cover your ears. Two stars you can cut down of those trees and make a permanent path through the forest there. Oh, so two okay. stars means the game has permanently changed for the rest of the campaign, and now that tile will stay in place forever, essentially. Cool. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to put that back. Yeah, put it yeah. back now. Yeah, yeah. Spoiler, people can come back in about 10 seconds. Um, so that was a... 
chapter one of the adventures of Robin Hood. Mike, what'd you think? Any thoughts? I enjoyed this very much. I thought, thought this was really entertaining. I thought we got to work together. We all had different goals, which I kept us on our toes rather than us trying to min-max the game. We actually had to do things and it yeah, actually like was, it was actually kind of paths. difficult. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, the, as you said, the game made it easy to make our skill checks, but it was gonna be really hard to the next next venture, oh, I think. Did you play Legends of Andor? No. Okay, there's definitely, I mean, besides the art where you can definitely tell the same person is responsible for it, I do feel like there's a lot of, uh, just a lot of the same sort of flavor in it, even though even though the book makes this very unique. Yeah, what would you think, totally. Nick? I liked it. I, I liked the flipping over to the tiles and all that. And then what you just explained with the stars, that some of it stays for the next time you play, some of it gets reset. That's all cool. Um, I like the mechanism of the bag, one bag, Holding everything, everything. everything. Right. different yep. types of things. I don't know if I, I haven't seen that. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember either. seeing it's that. It's cool. It's time. really cool. It makes it easy. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I love the. I, 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 this element's fun. I mean, I know there's other games that use it, um, but I love it, and I love these pieces. Mm -hmm. They're really great. They, they show you you know, getting more and more. You know, standing still, moving and running. Yeah. And they're different for each player. Yeah, yeah I do like the differentiated really, figures. Really nice. It is a little fiddly, I will admit. We a little had, bit, but, um, but you know, as long yeah. as you don't. I, I thought that it'd be cool if they were different. If uh, there was it, someone that ran a little, a little bit faster, faster than yeah, that'd be really cool. That would be, That's cool. Cool. That'd be yeah. cool. But yeah. I, I don't mind the fiddliness because you can you can be really particular or you can play good enough. And I think it yeah. depends on the uh, as, as, the as we play good enough. <laughs> you can be real particular or as we played good enough. And it adds a dexterity element to the game that you know you Lincoln like in games. So. But you know you can't. <laughs> you don't want to bump your piece, you know. You're like no, oh, you the monkey really that, that you're doing but there, but yeah. it's it's cool. I like I like that. I like the kind of cheating There's, the system thing. But it's yeah. a funny kind of war game element that well, they've run right. into, I, right? I, I, measuring your yeah, line of sight. It, 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 it is a war game. It's very wrong yeah. uh, <laughs> piece to it. No, but I think there's a lot of piece where you're trying to hide in the shadows. So there's a lot of flexibility. You can be really exact, or you can play. Well, yeah, and you can be close, good enough. And I think mm -hmm. that's the one thing I'm wondering about. I guess we did that right. I I feel like yes. any solid piece of art you can't move yeah. through. I, I would say that's that true. Right. Yeah. Well, it just I mean he's not looking out for anybody. He's just going to the castle. But so, he I was mean, in the way there, and that was a agreed. temporary that's, tile. That's actually I fine. I, I, just, I actually you know, liked like that bit of about it. Was, exactly. Exactly. I thought that sneak was, around. Yeah, there. I thought it was cool. I think I should be sneaking around through here though. I mean, like skirting the forest. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's that's the one thing that yeah, feels wrong us. is that you can't We're sneak like, through the trees. Yes, the you trees can't. Are too, we are, we are too dense. They're too dense. They're yeah. too dense. Yeah. 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 You gotta get that axe and chop yeah. through some pieces. A little, little hideout. Room well, yeah, right there. there. This one here. That one I totally too. saw. But oh, that's a huge tile. I bet yeah. that is the hideout. I didn't yeah. even yeah. notice that that was a tile. Yeah, that's great. I want to see what that is. The boat mechanic's really cool. I like that a lot. And it's expensive. That was a clever one. Yeah. But it's such a great, I mean, that's like a three or four turn move. Yeah. That's, sure. that's a huge right. benefit. And I think the book also tells you, because it tells you what to talk about, because one person is reading it and they tell you specifically, you don't get the, the negative parts on it unless you go right. ahead and do the positive parts right. on it. I do, and I do like, I mean, we're talking about how to play on this board and, and play in the artwork. I like that the designer, Michael Menzel, is essentially, he's not hidden any of the game, any of the artwork under numbers and charts and everything. Just this ribbon at the bottom and this little tiny thing at the top here. Everything else, you're playing on the artwork. Nothing is hidden. Right. Everything is out there for you. The art is the game, basically. Yeah. And I really like that none of that is uh, you know, obscured for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's, and, he's a great illustrator. So. You know, like, like we said, it's not really a legacy game, but I do like that it changes throughout the game. You know, This guy is here sometimes, yeah. and then when he helps you, he goes away. Right. And this boat you, moves down the river, and right. sometimes it's this. What'd you say? Right. A, a campaign game. That's a campaign you, game, but yeah. but that it, it 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 dynamically changes based on your choices. That's right. very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to see some of the branching for sure. Oh yeah, I, I, mm -hmm. I'm really excited about this. I cannot wait till it's actually available in English. You gave me my English book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Be able to do the whole thing. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Well, thanks for teaching us, Aaron. You bet. And thanks to you for watching. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel. If you click on the bell, you get notified when we put up new videos. See you next time. Bye.